Hi there, welcome to this video where we'll be using Ionic 4 to have network detection with capacitor. So if we scroll down to the bottom, we can see exactly what we'll be building here. And that's essentially this application that when we're online, it'll say connection status online. And when we are offline, it'll say connection status offline. It'll also update the nav bar to have this a black dark color when we're offline, and then when we are online, we'll go back to being a different color such as blue. So as simple as that, really. At the same time, we can also see the connection type, whether it's Wi-Fi, 3G, or so on. So we can start off by, of course, creating a new Ionic project. I've called mine Network Detection, and based off the blank template. Then we're, of course, enabling the capacitor integration. And after that, we are initializing a new capacitor project called Network and with the ID of com your app. Finally, after that, we're running Ionic Serve and this should open up our project inside of the browser. So here inside of our homepage, as you can see, this is an Angular application. We're going to import from capacitor slash core. We want plugins. Then underneath that, we can destructure network from the plugins. And that will give us access to network. Then at this stage, we can say implements on init. And from within the on init hook, we can of course add that with command and period. We can then say this dot network listener. So we need to create a network listener. And that can be of type plugin listener handle. And this is what we're going to do to sort of listen to the network status. So anytime the network status updates, our network listener will fire a status, which we can use to update the network status. So let's say network dot add listener. We want to listen for the network status change. We then get back a status. And then inside of here, we can console.log network status changed. Then we can log out this status. And finally, we need to update a variable inside of the view. So we'd say network status of type network status. So make sure you import that once again from capacitor core. We can also get the plugin listener handle from capacitor core as well. So let's delete that import there. After that, we can set this dot network status equal to that status. And now if we head over to our homepage HTML, we can change the title of this to be network detection. And then inside of the DOM here, we can say h1 connection status and then bind to that connection or rather network status. We'll also pipe that out to JSON to see what the JSON object is that we get back. And obviously at this moment in time, or maybe not so obvious, is the fact that because the network hasn't changed, we won't get a status update event. So I'm going to disconnect from the Wi-Fi and we should see that this updates. So I'm turning the Wi-Fi off now. And then we see connected false and connection type none. We can then update this by connecting back to Wi-Fi. And as soon as we do that, we can see we are connected type true. And of course, we have a connection type. At the moment, it says 4G, but that should be Wi-Fi. We'll then say whether the network status is online or not by saying network status dot connected. And then we'll put this ternary operator and we'll say online for true or offline for false. Once again, when we say we won't have that network status. So what we'll do now is we'll go over to the component once again. And from within inside the component, we'll make another call. This time we'll say this dot network status dot or rather equals await network don't get status. Because we're using async and await for this, let's say async ng on init. We'll remove this 
type of void at this point. And now the network status should be updated the second that this component initializes, hence how we have now online. The thing that I'd like to do next is when we get rid of this page, so when this component has an on destroy event, we will need to implement that. And this on destroy, I'm going to move further down, can simply be used to say this dot network listener dot remove. So this will remove that listener for the network whenever we leave this page. The only thing left to do is now to color the nav bar depending on whether we're online or offline. So we can go back over to our template and we can bind on the color and we can set the color equal to network status. Providing that exists, we can say network status dot connected. If we are connected, then maybe we want a primary, otherwise we want a dark. So at this stage now we should have a primary because we are connected. But if I go ahead and disconnect the Wi-Fi, once again, we should see now we're offline and that we have this dark color. So that's been how we get the connection status using Ionic and Capacitor. Don't forget that the code for this article can be found at the top. We just click the get the code.